Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nerf Elite 2.0 loadout pack. This blaster pack came out in 2022 and includes three blasters, the Ace, the Quad Fire, and the Technician. It also includes 14 Nerf Elite darts and is ages eight plus. On the back of the box, we have more information about the blasters. Starting off with the Ace, it has a one dart storage in its sight. The Quad Fire has a four dart capacity and a targeting sight. And the Technician has a tactical rail, a two dart capacity, and is pump action. So with that all the way, let's get these blasters out of the box. All right, so here we have the loadout pack completely unboxed. And by the way, the instructions on how to use and load the blasters are on the bottom of the box. Now let's get a better look at the contents of the blaster pack. Starting off with our Nerf Elite darts, you get 14 darts total, seven of the regular Nerf Elite 2.0 darts, and then seven of these inverted color darts. The first blaster we're gonna take a look at is the Ace. Uh, this is a very simple single shot muzzle loaded blaster. There's a loaded dart in the front. Pull the lever on the bottom to prime and pull the trigger to fire. Pretty much just a jolt. It does have the added feature of dart storage up on top in its little sight here. Next, we have the quad fire. This is similar to the Ace, but instead of one barrel, it has four barrels and is primed from the handle in the back. And it fires one dart at a time. And lastly, we have the technician. This blaster has a two dart capacity, uh, but is pump action. Other features of the technician include a tactical rail on the top, where you can slide various accessories on there. Seems to hold it pretty well. And also something you don't mention on the box is its stock attachment point. There you go. You have a stock on your technician. Pretty nice stock attachment point. Doesn't seem like it's coming loose or anything, see, so, so that is pretty cool. So with that all the way, let's get these things out on the range and see how they fare. I do want to apologize for the noise. Both of my neighbors uh, next door and up the hill are having work done on their house. So there's a lot of noise, that's why. But anyway, here we are on the range. We're gonna be testing these blasters accuracy. And the darts we're gonna be using are the standard variety, Nerf Elite. Adventure Force and Dart Zone. And the blaster we're gonna start off with is the Ace. We're gonna fire three shots each. We've seen the Ace a lot on this channel, at least two other times. Anyway, let's see if this, if we can hit anything. Miss. Oh yeah, this is by the way, starting off with Nerf. Nerf Elite, missed. We actually hit something. Knocked over two targets, but still hit something. All right, moving on to Adventure Force. Oh, that had no power. Straight to the ground. Too low. And our last shot, we can hit anything. No. All right, Ace is not necessarily the best blaster to use for small targets at a far distance. Move on to Dart Zone. Missed. There's potential, potential to hit something. Oh, hit the big target. And we're gonna go for the center. All right. So the A's wasn't the most accurate blaster, and by the way, I completely forgot, that is your sight picture. So let's see how the quad fire fares. I also noticed the quad fire has a bottom tactical rail. Try to put a foregrip on it, but it won't fit because it's too long in the back. But anyway, we're gonna be firing four shots out of this blaster, four shots each. Probably gonna be a little hard to aim because it fires top to bottom. Straight down, too high, to the left and straight down. Okay, let's see how Adventure Force fares. Too low, too high, or too low. Almost. This thing is very hard to aim. Lastly, dart zone. Too low, too, too, too left. Oh, I fired all four? <laughs> oh, one fell out of the barrel. I don't know which barrel that was, but we're gonna fire one more from the bottom because it fell out of the barrel. And missed. So quad fire also isn't really accurate. It's hard to aim due to its smart AR nature. So let's see how the technician fares. Uh, for this blaster, we're gonna be firing four shots each, so one reload. Missed. 
We hit the target. Didn't fall down, but we hit the target. Uh, moving on to Adventure Force. Low and low. Oh, hit something. Moving on to Dart Zone. Probably not gonna hit anything with Dart Zone. Bottom barrel for sure is definitely weaker than the top barrel. We hit something. It's always the last shot out of, out of, the, out of the reloads that uh, we end up hitting something. Anyway, with that all the way, let's move on to my final thoughts. Before we talk about the blasters themselves, let's go over where I bought it and how much I spent. I purchased this blaster pack at Walmart for $19.97 USD. At the time uh, I bought this blaster pack, which was a while ago, it was a Walmart exclusive. It does appear other companies are selling this. I'm not sure if these are secondhand companies. I know on eBay, it's definitely secondhand, but some of these other companies are, I think are selling it. At least where I live, you can only buy this blaster pack at Walmart. All right, so I'm gonna start off by talking about the blasters, then we'll move on to the blaster pack itself as a whole. First blaster we're gonna talk about is the Ace. We're just gonna get this one out of the way real quick. It's pretty much just a jolt, except it has a front sight that also doubles as dart storage. Uh, has a pretty decent prime, decent trigger. Not the most comfortable grip. You can also buy the Ace by itself. Overall, decent blaster. And we've reviewed these too many times, so we'll just move on to the next blaster. Let's move on to the Quad Fire. The Quad Fire is another story. You can't buy this blaster by itself. It only appears in two blaster packs, those being the loadout pack and another pack called the stockpile pack, which is the only other pack that the quad fire is included in. The blaster is pretty decent looking. I think it looks pretty cool. It's like a heavy, a heavy futuristic pistol. Uh, the grip is pretty nice, pretty comfortable. The prime is not too heavy, pretty smooth. The trigger, trigger is a little clicky and a little stiff. That could just be on my blaster. This blaster is uh, it's okay when it comes to reliability. It does have the knack for shooting uh, multiple darts out instead of one at a time. But that, of course, is the nature of a lot of smart AR blasters when, when it comes to looser fitting darts. Build quality wise, the blaster mechanism doesn't seem to be an issue. The only issue I have with my uh, quad fire is that the tactical rail has broke on mine right there. I'm not sure if this is how it came out of the box or when I try to put the foregrip on. I didn't even know this tactical rail existed until I was testing it out. The complaint I'll have about this blaster is the tactical rail. Uh, I do have a lot of accessories, um, but none of them will fit on this rail specifically because they always run into the little hand guard here. So it kind of makes this rail Slightly useless. Overall, it's a decent blaster. Lastly, we have the Technician. This, by the way, as of the recording of this video, is an exclusive to this blaster pack. It's not available by itself and not available in other packs. Like, but as I said, at least now it isn't. The Technician has a pretty comfortable grip. The prime is pretty nice. And the trigger, I actually really like this trigger. It's a very nice trigger. I don't really care for it aesthetically. It's in my opinion, kind of ugly because there's this big old cutout here. Uh, this very much reminds me of the Alpha Strike Blaster. I think it's called the Tiger. I don't remember what it's called, but it's yellow and kind of ugly looking. But the main difference between this and the Tiger is definitely plastic quality. This is that hard Nerf Elite 2.0 plastic compared to the Tiger's very soft Alpha Strike plastic. Definitely that one was a budget blaster. This one is a budget blaster built into hard plastic shell. Um, other than the plastic quality, the Prime is better than the Tiger and the trigger pull is better than the Tiger. It also includes a tactical rail and stock attachment point. Nice addition. I do like having stock attachment points on my pump action blasters. Also, I don't remember if the Tiger had sights, but this one has sights. Even though those weird inverted sights, I never understood why Nerf does that. At least with my testing, this thing is fairly reliable. Has not fired two darts out at once. It also seems to be okay using looser fitting darts. Uh, and build quality wise, this thing actually is pretty solid. There's no other issues with this. Even the rail attachment point is pretty well built. But that's it for the technician. And that's it for the blasters. So let's talk about the blaster pack itself. All right, so let's talk about the blaster pack as a whole. Normally, when I look at a blaster pack, I try to look up each blaster individually, count up what they cost to buy, purchase them all by themselves, and of course, calculate the remaining darts. Uh, but in this blaster pack's case, we can't really do that because the Ace is the only blaster 
able to be purchased by itself and it only costs like three dollars and the amount of darts you get is only 14 which is enough to reload all the blasters twice of course how much money you're saving by buying a blaster pack is only a piece of the whole puzzle of blaster packs the other piece is variety and this blaster pack lacks that you're getting two smart ar blasters and a single shot blaster that's all you're getting and you're only getting a small amount of darts for the average consumer i don't see the value in this pack there's a lot of other blasters you can get for twenty dollars or under twenty dollars and then use the rest of the money for some darts or something especially at walmart where i bought this blaster pack I guess the only reason you would buy this pack is if you're a collector and you want an exclusive blaster, which in this case is just the technician because the quad fire comes in another pack, the stockpile pack. So yeah, I actually wouldn't recommend the uh, loadout pack because there's not a lot of variety, not a lot of darts, and it costs $20. But anyway, um, those are my thoughts on the logo pack. And that'll be the end of the review. Comment your thoughts about this blaster pack down below. Also comment what else you wanna see on the channel. And if you wanna see a uh, performance review on this, on this blaster pack, uh, comment that down below. If enough people wanna see that, I'll make a video on it. Be sure to check out my review on the Nerf Elite 2.0 tactical pack. Be sure to check out my um, other reviews. I'll have both those linked at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.